Hello there. I'm going to try to share the gospel today with you with these visuals that I've got. This is you. Without Christ, you're in bondage to sin. You got chains. Maybe it's being a drunkard or having unforgiveness or like hate in your heart or you're an adulterer or idolater or you're a thief or covetous Tis, or maybe you're an extortioner there's all sorts of different sins that we're chained to and we're slaves of sin and we're in darkness in our soul without Christ without God in the world Check out this scripture. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 10. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor idolaters, nor effeminate, nor abusers of, I think effeminate is like the gay people being gay nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetedness, covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, people who pay evil for evil, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. So guess what? Without God, you're headed to eternal hell fire. Not even liars, the Bible says will go to heaven you're gonna go to hellfire eternally burning in hell suffering for every sin that you did but there's good news okay wait before that good news let me know let me let you know you have a hard heart with your sin a hard heart like stone the bible says Check this out. Ezekiel 36, 26. A new heart also I will give you, and a new spirit I will put within you. I will take away your stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a new heart. If you accept Jesus in your heart, he'll take away this stony heart from you. And he'll give you a soft, nice heart of compassion and love. It'll remove your sin and your chain. He'll help break off the chains from you. Check this scripture out. Ezekiel 36, 27. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. And you shall keep my judgments and do them. So you'll get his Holy Spirit in you. The Lord will give you his Holy Spirit in your new heart. He says, I indeed baptize. He says that um, in Matthew 3.11, there's a last, the last part of this scripture that I love so much. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. You could go check out the whole scripture to read the whole thing. Before Christ, before we get this Holy Spirit and this new heart, when we have our heart of stone and we're bound by sin, there's a wall that separates us from God. Check this out. Ephesians 2, 11, uh, 2, 12 through 16, King James Version. That at that time you were without Christ, 
being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenant of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who are sometimes afar off are made nigh by the blood of Christ, for he is our peace, who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of perdition between us. This wall that separates us from God is broken down by Christ. And his blood shed on the cross. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity. That's like a war. Like, like we're separated from God and we're enemies of God in our mind before Christ. Even the law of commandments contained in ordinances were to make himself of twain one new man. So making peace and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross having slain the enmity thereby. He got rid of the, the wall of perdition that separated us from God, the sin that, that, that kept us in bondage. Jesus died so we could be reconciled with God and receive that new heart and the Holy Spirit by what he did on the cross. So repent for your sins. Ask God for forgiveness for evil things you have done. Ask him to be your Lord and Savior. He will answer your prayer. Turn from sin. Sin is destructive and evil and leads to hell. And you don't want to go there. And God doesn't wish anyone to perish, but all come to repentance. So read the Bible and be transformed. This world will teach you to be evil and it teaches you to live in sin and to be and to do evil things and that lying is okay and having sex outside of marriage is okay and being a drunkard is okay and being gay is okay but it is not. Read the Bible so you can learn the ways of God and don't be conformed to the pattern of this world. Romans 12 2 says do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. But without reading the Bible, you're all these things. And, and if you do these things, you'll end up going to hell and for an eternity when you die. And you're separated by that wall because of your sin. And you're in a bondage that to sin that only a relationship with the Lord can break. God can break this bondage. But you have to repent for your sins. You have to seek the Lord. You have to be transformed by the renewing of your mind with the word of God. You have to apply it to your life. So many people hear the gospel, but then they continue on in their evil sin. And they're going to go to hell. Be not deceived. You can't do these things and, and think you're going to go into the kingdom of God when you die. You're not. You're going to go to hell for all eternity. And you're going to suffer for your sins because that's the justice of God. But Jesus died on the cross, breaking down that middle wall of perdition between us. so the, And shed his perfect blood without the... Shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. He shed his blood on the cross. God bless you. Bye-bye.